So last video we saw the Yikong 4106 Pro, we got to know all about its very interesting tank turn feature with those rear disc brakes. But those of you who are regulars to my channel, the big question I'm sure you all have is, how does it crawl? Today we're going to hit the six problems and find out, let's do it. It's 7pm, 38 degrees Celsius, and I'm just having a great time. Okay, we are locked, we're in, I think, yep, we're in first. This is problem one. Now, this is something of a class one rig with bigger than class one tires. The firms are, sorry, the firms, the firms are a bit firm, but they're still a Hyrax tread. The body isn't super heavy. Poor old problem one needs a bit of maintenance, I think. I think we might just clean it up real quick. Like I said in my article, if you had a look at it, if you expect class one performance from this thing, you'll be pleasantly surprised. But class one vehicles can't do my six problems usually. They might handle maybe problem one, maybe problem five, but any problem is a big ask for a class one vehicle. So we're being a bit mean to the poor old Yikong 4106 Pro here, but There we go. I think it can still probably manage at least one, hopefully. Now we're gonna disengage that rear lock. We're gonna turn that tank steer on, tank turn, so that it locks the inside rear. Oh no, we might need diff lock actually, just to get a bit of forward motion. There we go. Now I've got tank turn back on, but no. <laughs> I think slightly softer foams would help. There's a nice edge of what we can get away with here. Now, that's that body roll. I still haven't got oil in the shocks and it really wants it. I've got tank turn turned on, as you might be able to hear. <laughs> well, that counts, it did it. Problem two, diffs are locked. Best believe I had to pick this car up and line it up properly because there's no way we can just drive. Nearly fell off then. Now, we know the treads are good. These Hyrax clones... Hyrax is a great tread design. Thanks, Proline. But given that they're clones, the compound feels good and sticky when it's clean. But now it's all dusty, it has a lot less grip than the real Hyrax, even the G8. Although it is difficult to judge whether this is a question of compound or foams, the foams could definitely be better. And I just got distracted for a second. I've just lost it at a crucial time. Oh, there we go, saved it. I don't think we're getting two, but it's, it's even less likely now. Disengaging diff lock, turning tank turn on to give us something of a dig, because I just want to pull that nose around. Oh, it worked too. It didn't work well enough, but interesting. This is more me being polite to the car than expecting it at all to do problem three. We'll give it the courtesy of an attempt, but we ain't getting problem three out. So the rear tire is currently stuck on the ground, but we might be able to drag it forward. We're actually making forward progress. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Best case scenario, let's say we got as far as that, which is, to be honest, half of the battle with problem three. Can we finish it? I don't think so. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think traction would be the problem. Let's just say things are perfect, because that's pretty much perfect, if I could get the car to that. All right, so that's a tough one even when you set it up nicely. So three's out. Now it's probably the same story with four. We don't have the clearance and we don't have the tires. All the steering strength for that matter. It really is the, uh, the tire compound letting it down here, I think. It's not that heavy of a car, honestly. And certainly the drivetrain is tough. I'm not really worried about breaking anything, but uh, these, I think these foams are just a little hard. Let's just 
set it up nicely and we'll see where and how it fails rather than wasting time going through the motions because it's not going to make this problem if I'm wrong I'll go back but so we're getting caught up there let's say by some miracle we got there it's just as good as any position I think speed's really the only answer here but if we try it slow do we have enough reach with those wheels oh yeah we do look at that we nearly did Uh, uh. No. <laughs> Poor old car. Now it was quite sloppy, but we did problem one. Problem two was the next closest, but still out. Oh, okay, that did all right. Now we're going to disable diff lock, turn tank turn on. Ooh, very refined. My new big green toy box in the background there. I'll introduce you to that in a later video. Construction is still underway because I ran out of space for all my stuff. Okay, if the light has changed, it's because my GoPro shut down due to heat. These GoPros just drive me a bit crazy, honestly. Okay, we're going to turn diff lock off and tank turn on. <laughs> well, it did what I asked it to do, but it was a bit, a bit much. Okay, we're just going to try again with diff lock. That was probably the more intelligent option, actually. Nope. That's the slider not sliding. Remember, they're just part of the polycarbonate body. So that part of the body is not going to last terribly long without something under it. Servo's fading a bit. Just remember, we're asking a lot of this car here. It's even just had a few minutes to cool down. And even though it's a really hot early autumn day here we're still like 37 degrees celsius it's um we're asking a lot of it diff locks off tank turns on i want it to there we go i want it to bias a little bit to the left oh boy poor car all right so i don't think we need to see much more problem six is going to be out as well my point here showing you this is that this is a trail truck it's got a brilliant little party trick in those disc brakes a capable rock crawler it isn't but if you go into it expecting this level of capability i mean hey it's doing all right and we did get problem one out of it i'm being quite hard on it oh yeah no all right we'll call it now i'm not going to even pretend that it can do six i've just placed it in the best possible position to show you that it probably can't even with portals <laughs> that was supposed to be a little adjustment it wasn't oh since we're upside down before we end this i didn't mention this before check it out you've got inverse rotation sorry you've got inverse rotation drive shafts that's another effort to lower the torque twist when you accelerate and it doesn't twist in the opposite direction of the drive shaft. And uh, with a bit of oil, that's great. But yeah, this plus um, portals really helps with that. Everything's quite warm at the moment, but I mean, it worked hard, but it, it did a good job, didn't it? Now, let's have a look at damage real quick, because that was about as tough as you'd expect. We've got some wear there. We've got plenty of wear on this skid and the side of the plastic chassis rail. This thing doesn't really fare worse for being plastic though, like, it's still a really rigid car. Yeah, I like this thing. Just remember, it's a trail rig, not a crawler, but it can do light crawling, and you'll be very, very happy indeed. One last thing to mention. I just realized I did this whole test in second gear, not in first gear. I was just pulling out the battery. So if you had any doubt at all about its durability as far as the electronics go, uh, be at ease to know that this motor though warm in fact hot uh, and the esc is quite warm it did all of that in second gear not first gear because i made a mistake and i'm tired uh, i mean that that really speaks for itself <laughs> jeez problem one by the skin of its teeth i reckon we might have got five if we kept trying but there's a little bit of luck involved isn't there this car is clearly more of a trail rig than a crawler but for what it is as a trail rig, 
Wow. For us in Australia, the value is exceptionally good. I do notice that for the price I paid, which is roughly 385 American, that's about the same price as a TRX4 Sport in US dollars. But here in Australia, uh, the Sport is something like 570 US dollars. We pay a lot more in Australia. So for us, the Yikong 4106 Pro is very attractive. If you like all those little fiddly bits, you've got the two speed, and I just did this whole test in second speed. I thought it was first, but it was second. Did the whole thing onto us. So you got that, you got the diff locks, you got um, uh, those disc brakes, you got the very full light kit, the adjustable drag brake on the fly. There's a lot to like in this car. But if you're looking at that versus a Sport, for example, or one of the Element cars, which I think are also similar money to the Sport, it might come down to whether you want all those little tricky bits for trail driving fun, which is absolutely worth something in my book or if you want a more capable crawler, and then all the other stuff we've looked at in the past, maybe more what you're after. Up to you. May the conversation continue in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Throw me a like, and I'll catch you next time on RCTNT. Thanks, guys.